Welcome to another Manumit Marketing Minute. In this session, we'll look at the categories involved in claiming your Google Places listing. Briefly before we start, the tip at the top of the screen is worth paying attention to. Be mindful of which Google account you use to claim your listing, as you may wish to share this account with other people in your business, or eventually sell the business and the listing to someone else. That's obviously inconvenient if it's your main Gmail account. You can easily set up a separate account specifically for this purpose. So regardless of whether you're looking for a new business or updating an existing listing, the screen you'll eventually land on contains this information. We have the address sections at the top with the phone number. A tip here is to use a local number first and then free phone numbers second. Google attributes some value with the local phone number, so it's worth identifying that. Email addresses, website and description is relatively straightforward. Categories we'll touch on later. Service area and location, this is where you'll set where your business is, or alternatively, which service area you service. Hours of operation, uh, relatively straightforward. Payment options, straightforward. Photos and videos, we'll discuss in detail later on, as there's a number of tricks and tips to make better use of these options. And finally, additional details. Again, we'll discuss these later in the week as there's an option here to add additional information that your competition may have missed out. So when looking at completing your information, the main point is to make sure all the fields are complete as possible. It really makes a difference if your listing is 100% complete and that can make the difference between you appearing or your competition appearing at the top. So that's the high level overview and in the next few videos we'll look in detail at some of the categories.